Hello and welcome to this design and technology lesson. This lesson is a lesson on one point perspective drawing and we're calling this lesson two cubes. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to draw two cubes, we're going to draw a horizon, a vanishing point, and we're going to draw one cube below the horizon and one cube above the horizon. So first thing we need to do is we need to add a title to our piece of paper and I've put the title is one point perspective two cubes and I've put my name on it obviously you'd put your name on it now the first thing we're going to do is somewhere roughly in the middle of the paper we're going to put a horizontal line obviously horizon and horizontal similar words we're going to create that line I'm drawing with a pencil I'm using a ruler I've also got a rubber here then I'm going to add a point which we're going to mark and I might do this in fine liner just so it shows up better. I'm going to mark a point and I'm going to call that VP and that is our vanishing bit too small but we can see vanishing point and I'm going to mark this as well as a so we've got a horizon line and a vanishing point now these are the main features if you like of a two-point perspective because and if you look in this 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 if we go back to this one you can see that I've actually I use two coloured pencils, um, just two coloured pencils to, to mark out so we can see this is uh, to kind of explain that this horizon line is the line of uh, that the vanishing point is on that we can't see any further to and then above that is sky and below that is crown so that, that is kind of our definition if you like of horizon. So we've got horizon line, we've got a vanishing point. Then what we're going to do here is draw a square so um, if you like coming down from the horizon to get it absolutely accurate and we can draw a square um, size isn't totally important you could do it um, bigger or smaller so we can see there that we've got a square and then from each corner of the square we're going to set our ruler on the vanishing point and we're just going to move the ruler keeping that, I've actually put a pencil on there to keep it on the vanishing point and bring it down to that corner then I'm going to set it onto the vanishing point and just make this corner a little bit clearer here you can see that and I'm going to set this down onto here move that to there and out and move that to there it takes some time to get these absolutely accurate and there we've got our lines now so we've drawn our square here and we've got our lines going back to the vanishing point then we can bring this line back pick a side and draw a horizontal line then turn it 90 degrees pick up that point make sure that it's 90 degrees and so 90 degrees to the horizons we've got a 90 degree angle in there and then we come down to there so there's our first cube so I'm just going to take a fine liner there now you could we're going to do what we call lining in now you could line in with a pencil and what lining in means is that we've got two thicknesses of lines now these lines here we could rub these out but we call these construction lines and the lines that we're lining in now are the lines of the shape that we actually want to keep. So there are. there's our first cube and we're going to mark this cube below horizon so 
So there's that below horizon cube. You can see that. The next cube, and you can see from the below the horizon cube, we're looking down on it. We're looking down, we can see that face and that face. Now we're going to draw the above horizon cube. Now the above horizon cube is different because we can see the face underneath it. And that's because when we draw our square here, we draw it above the horizon. And if we draw it above the horizon and then bring our lines down to the vanishing point, we will get a different viewpoint, which is above horizon. So to draw that, and we come over here, and I'm going to draw it here somewhere. So I'm going to draw a line here, draw a line there. If you'd like to, you can do this, keeping the lines vertical and horizontal. So we've got this line here, then we're going to do what we did before, which is put a pencil on there, move our ruler till it gets to that, that corner there, and come to there, move our ruler, and keep it on this point, bring it round to here, onto here, and just do that one by eye, and there. So there we've drawn our square with vertical and horizontal lines, and then we've drawn from each of our corners down to our vanishing point. Now if we take this line and we align this vertically, bring it back and draw that line there, then we take from this point here, if we bring the ruler down and get it to that point, making sure that we're parallel with horizon and we've got a uh, above horizon cube. So now I'm going to line in, as I say, you can line in with a pencil. The idea of lining in, as I said previously, is that you have two thicknesses of lines. You have a construction thickness of line and you have an outline of your object. So I'm going to just So there, I'm going to label that one above horizon. So there we go, there we have it. We've got a one point perspective drawing of two cubes with one cube above the horizon and one cube below the horizon. Now, as I said at the start, um, what I did here was I just got two colored pencils and I just put in a an earth or desert colour below the horizon and a sky colour below the above the horizon. As I've also labelled vanishing point, below horizon, the horizon line and above horizon. So that is a completed one point perspective drawing of two cubes. Thank you for watching Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. Enjoy your lesson.